here, you made it. I am so excited that you guys are here and you're joining me online for this week's children's lesson. I have missed you so, so much and I can't wait to see you and hug you all again soon. On the count of three, I want you all to tell me through your screen what you have been doing. One, two, three, go! Wow, you guys have been doing so many fun things. I bet you're all super excited that school is almost over and it's about to be summer. But I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite things that I have been doing while we've been quarantined and stuck at home. One of the things I've been doing is spending extra time with this sweet snuggly little boy, Theo Spookily. Now that we've caught up a little bit about some of the things that we've been doing in quarantine, are you all ready to jump into today's Bible story? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Awesome! I'm so glad and I'm ready too because I get to follow up with where my mom left off last week. Does anybody remember what she talked about? I'll give you a second to think about it. Feel free to pause. If you missed last week's lesson, you can check it out on our YouTube page, but I'll give you a quick recap just in case. So last week, Paul and Silas were in prison, but we learned that when they were in jail, an earthquake happened and they were set free and they were able to share the good news with the jailer whose sins were then saved by the good news of Jesus. Can we just give it up for a second? Isn't that awesome? That really is great news. But the story continues. Now, I have a question for you. What do you think that Paul and Silas did when they got out of prison? What would you do if you just got out of prison? Would you go home to your nice warm bed and take a long nap and then take a hot shower and have your favorite dinner of all time with all yummy foods and desserts and just slow down a little bit, almost like you were on vacation? Well, the truth is that Paul and Silas didn't slow down one bit. They kept going and continued to tell everyone about Jesus. And some people started beating them up about it. That doesn't really sound like the good news that we're talking about though, does it? But our story continues. Do you think that the police showed up to arrest the people that were beating them up? Well, that didn't happen either. They showed up and they put them back in chains. <gasps> Do you see that? More good news. Don't worry. As the soldiers were taking him to jail, they let him stop and talk about Jesus. Paul said that he used to be mean, but now all he wanted was for them to know the love of Jesus, even those who were beating him up and arresting him. Let's read Psalm 107 verse 2 together. It says, Let those who have been set free by the Lord tell their story. He set them free from the power of the enemy. Paul was set free from his madness and anger when he met Jesus and when he learned the good news. The good news of Jesus sets us free from sin so that we can tell our story to others just like Paul did. All of us have a story and every one of our stories matters to God. Now that we've talked about how we all have a story and all of our stories matter, I want to ask you. Have you ever shared your story with somebody else? Have you ever shared how Jesus has come into your life and how much he loves you with another person? And who can you share this story with today in your lives? I want you to take a second, pause this video, and talk about it with whoever you're with. One way that I really love to encourage other people and share the good news with them is by writing them a note and dropping it off into their mailbox or bringing it by to them. So I thought it would be really fun if we can make a craft together today to do that. So to make this craft, there are a couple of things that you need that you probably already have inside your house. The first thing that you'll need is your parents' permission to do this craft so that you can do it safely in case you need their help with something. You'll also need some good newspaper, construction paper or colored paper, glue, markers, 
and scissors. So I already went ahead and cut out a heart with the colored paper and a heart in the newspaper. And I'm going to glue those on right now. So now I've got my heart newspaper glued on top of my heart construction paper. And I am ready to write a note to my friend, neighbor, family member to drop them off to share the good news of Jesus. There you go. And just like that, you have a handmade note for whoever it is that you want to share this good news with. I just wrote, good news, Jesus loves you on mine, but you can decorate yours however you want. I know we have some true artistes out there, and I love seeing your work in the classroom, and I can't wait to see it again soon. Remember, the good news of Jesus sets us free from sin, so we can tell others our story. Let's pray together. Dear God, Thank you for this time that we're able to spend together virtually just to learn more about you and your word, God. Thank you for giving us each a story and how important it is to you that we share that story. Thank you for coming into our lives and showing us that you love us and that you truly can set us free from the sin that we have in our lives. Help us to share our stories with others and to love you more each and every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It was so nice to be here with you guys. And now that I have my craft all finished, I'm going to go deliver it to someone who needs to hear this. So have a great day. It was so nice to be with you all. I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.